Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Now, recently we've heard of a solar storm approaching the Earth. Now, we have heard a lot of information online about solar flares, storms, etc. But how do we make sense of the information that we know? Well, today's video is just about that. We're going to be looking at what's happening in the sun when you hear of terms such as solar flares and solar storms. So, the first question is, what is a solar storm? Now, if you are asking this question to a scientist, they would refer to this phenomena as a geomagnetic storm. So, a geomagnetic storm is a temporary disturbance of the Earth's magnetosphere caused by a solar wind shockwave and or cloud of magnetic field that interacts with the Earth's magnetic field. Now, according to NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, solar storms are a variety of eruptions of mass and energy from the solar surface. These are caused by solar activity like flares, prominences, sunspots, and coronal mass ejections or CMEs. So in order to understand a solar storm better, we need to understand solar activity such as flares, prominences, etc. that happen on the sun. So what is a solar flare? A solar flare is an intense burst of radiation coming from the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots. Flares are our solar system's largest explosive events. They're seen as bright areas on the sun and they can last from minutes to hours. We typically see a solar flare by the photons or light it releases at most every wavelength of the spectrum. So in order to detect a solar flare, the primary ways we use are X-rays and optical light. Flares are also sites where particles such as electrons, protons and heavier particles are accelerated. So basically it's a burst of radiation that is energy coming from the sun. That's what we call a solar flare. Now, the next question, what is a solar prominence? A solar prominence is a large bright feature extending outward from the sun's surface. Prominences are anchored to the sun's surface in the photosphere and extend outwards into the sun's hot outer atmosphere, which is called the corona. The red glowing looped material coming out of prominences is plasma, a hot gas comprised of electrically charged hydrogen and helium. The prominence plasma flows along a tangled and twisted structure of magnetic fields which are generated by the sun's internal dynamo. So as you can see, these prominences look a lot like twisted arches. Now, what are sunspots? Sunspots, dark areas on the solar surface, contain strong magnetic fields which are constantly shifting. A moderate-sized sunspot is about as large as the Earth. Sunspots form and dissipate over periods of days or weeks. They occur when strong magnetic fields emerge through the, through the solar surface and allow the area to cool slightly. Sunspots remain more or less in place on the sun. Groups of sunspots especially those with complex magnetic field configurations, are often the sites of solar flares, those explosions. So these are areas that come 
deep from the sun and they are filled with strong magnetic fields which shift constantly and since they're cooler than the rest of the sun's surface they appear dark to us and hence we call them sunspots now what is a coronal mass ejection or cme now the sun's outer atmosphere is called the corona and it is structured by strong magnetic fields now when these fields are closed often above sunspot groups the confined solar atmosphere can suddenly and violently release bubbles of gas and magnetic field called coronal mass ejections a large cme can contain a billion tons of matter that can be accelerated to several million miles per hour in a spectacular explosion solar material streams out through the interplanetary medium impacting any planet or spacecraft in its path cmes are sometimes associated with solar flares but they can occur independently so basically when the explosion triggers a mass ejection of matter as well as energy we call it a coronal mass ejection because it starts from the corona the outer atmosphere of the sun now we've learned a lot about what causes a solar storm and what does it do to the magnetosphere of the earth but how does it impact life on earth it has been suggested that a geomagnetic storm on the scale of the solar storm of 1859 today would cause billions or even trillions of dollars of damage to satellites, power grids, and radio communications, and could cause electrical blackouts on a massive scale that might not be repaired for weeks, months, or even years. Such sudden electrical blackouts may threaten food production. Ionospheric storms can affect radio communication at all latitudes. TV and commercial radio stations are little affected by solar activity. But ground to air, ship to shore, shortwave broadcasts and amateur radio signals, which are bands below 30 megahertz, they are frequently and significantly disrupted by solar storms. Now, in the history of solar storms, the Carrington event deserves a special mention. The Carrington event was a powerful geomagnetic storm on September 1st to 2nd, 1859, during solar cycle number 10, which occurred from 1855 to 1867. A coronal, a solar coronal mass ejection or CME hit the Earth's magnetosphere and it induced the largest geomagnetic storm ever recorded. The associated white light flare in the solar photosphere was observed and recorded by British astronomers Richard Carrington and Richard Hodgson. The storm caused strong auroral displays and caused serious damage to the telegraph systems in use at that time. Now, if a, solar, if a solar storm of this magnitude were to occur today, it would cause widespread electrical disruptions, blackouts, and damages due to extended outages of the electrical grid. The solar storm of 2012 was actually of a similar magnitude, but it passed the Earth's orbit without striking the planet, missing us by nine days. So, that concludes our video on an explanation about what happens in the sun and what causes solar storms, which are scientifically called geomagnetic storms. 
To learn more about such useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is Brain Blitz Audios. We have uploaded, uploaded a lot of stuff on Brain Blitz Audios. We have many videos here and you can always share your views in the comment section down below. You can also hit the notifications button down below in order to receive updates about our latest content. So until the next webisode, take care, stay safe, bye bye for now.